Welcome to the Empire of Rampain, and welcome back to my Dominion Divide and Guard campaign for the Divide and Conquer version 5 mod from Evil 2, where we're going to continue the stuff from last time, where we turned Mount Gundabad into a mass battlefield, where at this point in time, we've been able to push on through quite a bit of the forces of uh, the Vale, and now Erebor is joining on in as well. But I think we'll be okay. Because for right now, basically what we're going to need to do is next turn especially. Uh, we'll move, start merging everybody together into armies once again to make sure that we're using, leaving behind anybody that's really beat up and only pushing forward with units that are doing really well for themselves. We have a bunch of reinforcements still also making their way over here. So you guys are going to keep trying to bring on over these troops as reinforcements to this front. Because we're pressure, pressuring them over there. And I'm trying to see if right now we can keep trying to have it so we like, have you guys splinter off, kill armies, and slowly push on into Edoui. Um, besides that right now, we actually have some pretty good progress right now into the territories over here. There's only four more territories we need to take around here from the Vale at the moment. Before we have it so that all of you guys will switch back over to here. I'm still hopeful that because I took these territories, they're going to try and start trying to maybe attack Goblin Town and uh, Methelberg. Because if it's just one stack, they're pro more, far more likely to actually want to attack them. Uh, other than that, we're still gathering forces over around here to try and push on into deal with the forces of Dorn winning a little bit more. It's so, like we've got three armies here. We're still slowly putting together a bit more. Oh, actually, this is a fourth army. So we've got at least four full stack armies and then more men still making their way on over. But basically, I don't have much much else for this turn. we got to basically just keep trying to retrain troops, uh, move troops forward that we have that are just kind of waiting about. So I'm going to have to go double check on that because some of you guys are still moving. Some of you keep getting stuck, which is kind of a pain in the ass that it keeps happening. But as long as most of you guys are moving forward, that's all that really matters. Alrighty, this is exactly what we want here. Luring them away and putting them into areas where I can do far more damage. So I've got some artillery pieces around here. I might be able to win this. There's so many fucking Jewish bodyguards. Literally. What the hell is with you guys and your recruitment? Seriously, there's like, what, let's see, so eight. So there are 12 generals bodyguards in that one army. And another 12 in this army. There are 24 generals bodyguards in these two forces. God damn. Okay, well, we're going to see what we can do. I've got artillery, I've got ballistas, and uh, I've got some crossbows. We'll try and see what we can do to try and hold these this uh, bridge the best we can. Because what I'm going to keep doing is trying to lure them into, hopefully, basically, hey, try and fight one army of mine. That's fine. Lure you guys into fights like this, and we can slowly but surely whittle these guys down. So, get you guys... So, right about... I wish I had stakes. Wouldn't really matter too much for these guys, but yeah. Get you guys to back up. A little bit. Jones bodyguard off to the side. Start the battle. And then try and have it so that for right now... You guys kind of have to try and group up here. Try and basically hold this spot. Get them to hopefully blob the hell up. And then we can just absolutely destroy them with my artillery pieces. See, so you guys run into position. Let's see there and there they got their cab coming on in first yeah artillery pieces wait until they start blobbing up more then i want to start opening fire and if anything also specifically target skin changers <laughs> so open fire into the skin changers because they're starting to blob up a bit more some of you guys are not moving into position like i wanted you to but that's fine yeah, just move on up there I'll fire will on. And just start trying to open fire. Just start trying to see if you can kill... If you can kill the Jones bodyguards, that'd be perfect. Let's see, it's 4% to 7 so far. I'm trying to fire into this big blob here. Just keep firing, guys. Do I have to have you just pick your own targets? Yeah, I do. Come on. Keep firing. You guys accidentally stopped. There we go. There you go. Now you're firing again. Man, it's the catapults that were the main ones I'm banking on. The ballistas. Yep, there we go. There's one. The ballistas aren't going to be able to do as much, sadly. But yeah, just try and keep firing, guys. So we've taken at least one general's bodyguard. There's just 11 more to hit. So see what you guys can do. Multi of ammo. There's another one. There goes two. There goes three. 
Yeah, we're starting to get around the sides now, which is kind of the concern. Let's get you guys to kind of go over here. And yeah, those are more skin changers. Keep firing. If we can at least take out several of the general's bodyguards in this army, at least if anything, we lured them away from that big city. So we can try and have it so we can focus them down. Yeah, this army may die, but we at least did some good damage and we lured them away. Because that's the thing. We have to have it so they're not all blobbed up on top of each other. Yeah, more skin changers coming on over here. I think you guys are going to be able to start pushing in here now a bit more than I'd like. I'll try and see if I can pull away with my artillery pieces. I'll probably put you guys too close to the bridge, but that's... Eh, it's okay. Try and pick up the catapult if you can and try and run away. Otherwise, yeah, there was my general. So I'm probably now going to start running now at this point in time. Yeah, there goes my guys. But hey, we at least took out three generals' bodyguards. And then I pulled them back. So yeah, not as much damage as I would like on them. At least kill generals' bodyguards. So those guys, are they're not getting back up from a catapult shot. So that's fine. So now we'll be able to have it so we can single these two armies out uh, next turn with some of the armies I've got around here. And the more we slowly whittle down their military, the easier it's going to be for us to take out the forces of the Vale. We'll accept the, this. Uh, try and get that. Say so you guys are now just stuck on the bridge. But hey, Edoway's weakened more now. So depending on how far away I can get, uh, I might be able to take that city this turn. Possibly. We'll have to kind of try and see about that. We can kind of take our time with the Vale. The fact that we have so many more armies, we can be a little bit more careful, and we can try and have it so we just lure them into areas where they are at a disadvantage. Like, hey, that bridge battle, that makes it so we can spread them out, and we can slowly just single them out one at a time. Because I want to see how much damage it should now possibly register after this turn end. Um, how much damage the stuff around Gundabad did. Because I am very curious about that. Because we take out a, a lot of General's Bodyguards, We'll be take, we're going to be trying to go for Boozer Doom next around there now. Uh, sorry, not Boozer Doom. Uh, Boozer Cruel. Boozer Cruel. Very different territory. Um, Boozer Cruel. And then I want to try and get Dane's Halls as well. I, I don't want to focus specifically on Erebor until the Veil is dead, but I feel like we should possibly push into them a little bit more so that way we have a better area to defend the East until we push that way. Yeah, lost our Pegasus train. Uh, grab you... You're in Pelar gear. So let's grab you. You're going to go join on up with all these armies that I'm trying to make right now. So for the most part right now, yeah, they're kind of gathering around Earl Stone. Narn, Benny. Okay, so for right now, again, we want to leave behind the most beat up units. Put you guys all into, for right now, Mount Gundabad, basically. We're going to try and just gather those guys together, retrain them, merge them together. And then just have everybody else that's fully replenished push forward. So, you go to Mount Gunabad, merge men together. Uh, you grab your really beat up units and do the same thing. So, you guys into Mount Gunabad, same deal. And then I'm going to ignore these two armies for right now. I want to push to cities. So, if we can, we'll try and focus on just that. This army entirely is fine, so I'll just merge you. Let's see. God, I need to make it so you guys are more balanced. Some of these armies are not balanced whatsoever. Okay, you guys in the mountain about as well. Okay. You in there. You can use two more. And then Angmar. You can use quite a few. Let me just go through all these armies. There's just so many of them. It's going to take me a while to go through these guys. That's everybody. So now at this point in time, that is all the armies that I can merge together. Uh, I can hit Boozer Cool this turn. So we can bring you guys over here. Several of you can at least get over here. So we can go there, there. Uh, you can't get there, but you guys can move forward and get closer to joining in the next turn. Then we want to have it so, if we can, I might be able to... Let's see, so... Yeah, some of you can get over here to join on in and help out around this area. So if I go there, 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 and there. So what I want to do is I actually want to start sieging Earlstone. And actually, I do want to double check this. So again, what happened to their military? Yeah, it's just still just plummeting. Yeah, you can even see a pretty big difference as well for Erebor too. Love it. Yeah, now, so if I do this, and then I... Oh, this one, too. 
So if I have you... No, I want to use the Witch King, Rangmar. Yeah, try and push these guys away. Same difference there. It's only you two that are in next to that guy. I bring you over, though. You can join on him as well. He's gonna run. He's gonna, we're trying to have it so we basically lure you guys away from the city. So we spread you guys out. So this army here. You guys can't actually hit this guy right now, sadly. Let's see. And then we can probably... Let's see. What is this like? It's worse in our favor. I will wait. Because we have that in position. We can at least take uh, Boozer Cool this turn. Should be fine. So Boozer Cool can fall. That can go to us immediately. So start repairing things. I will... Actually, I don't... I don't... It doesn't matter. Technically, this is not the way station for us. Yeah, but I, it doesn't matter for this campaign, really, at this point. At, at this point in time, we're sending so many forces forward, I'm not really retraining um, a lot of my specialty units up around here. Um, gonna bad, though. You are at yeah, 87% already. I love how quickly we're converting these areas. So yeah, go over to Boozagool. Help that out. Then, basically, what we'll do is I'll have it so... I will have it so we'll stay over here in Boozgul for a little bit, but I'll have you four push back down here towards Earlstone. Uh, Boozgul might be a good spot to still hold, because I, I still think we should focus on to the Vale first. Focus them down. Kind of annoyed they aren't actually pushing in to try and attack these territories. <laughs> but let's have you start trying to uh, build this up. Growth build policy. You at least have the spy, so we'll push in there a little bit more. Back here now. Let's see. Yeah, you're still trying to retrain these guys around here. And then, let's see, so... You guys don't have enough movement to hit the stuff in there, are we? You guys... There's the rebels there. Kill them off first. Then stand there. And I, I want to... I'm actually going to, like, purposely have random armies in areas that are not advantageous for us just so that they're more likely to try and attack them. And spread out. Let's see, we can grab some women there. Uh, this area I think is fine that we don't need to stand around here now. I can have you just try and push forward a little bit. So again, we're going to kind of spread out a little bit. Because I'm trying to have it so that they are going to try and hopefully spread out to try and hit us. So I'll try and do that. You can use some more units here as well, Balaknar. The only ones I'm going to keep together are going to be the Nazgul. So I'll have, like, one big blob that they're like, hey, I don't want to fuck with this big blob. That way, they'll be like, oh, yeah, no, look at these, like, little armies that are next to the big blob. We should go hit those instead. So that's kind of the plan. We're trying to lure them into hitting these territories. So you guys could do that. Uh, you yeah, keep trying to make your way up around here. So you're going right there. These armies... I need to send some more reinforcements over towards um, Saruman. So, like, you can go over that way. This area, we've actually almost got a decent amount of men that we can, like, kind of leave out here now. Because I know you're trying to group up with us. You all will be able to hit to this territory next turn. So keep going there. Saruman needs reinforcements. So grab seven guys from here. I can barely... I cannot get to the territory technically this turn. Uh, are there any wargs around here? Get ready for fighting. Can you hit it? Yeah, you can hit it from where you're at. So you can be the one that actually sieges the territory. The rest of you get nearby. And we should be able to push on into this territory. Take this one this turn. Then we'll have to group up. I really need reinforcements for Kamul. Kamul's really beat up. I might have to eventually just put you guys into one army with Saruman again. Let's see, this... I am not trusting the auto resolve. not after what you guys did to Shivos. So we're fighting this ourselves. Because this is not that bad. You mainly just have a absolute shit ton of garrison defenders. You are not going to win this fight. So, take this. Get this over to the Adenine. And then there's only a couple more cities around here. Basically, we'll take another one of them next turn. And then I just need to keep moving forward. Let's see, so group you guys up there. 
But let's, uh, let's go over... Yeah, over here. Over here. Nazgul. I honestly don't need much of my other fucking army, the rest of my army. I just need you for the most part. And then, uh, wargs actually should come over here too. With the gates open now, I'm trying to have it so that my wargs, you guys ran up. And if you go up and around... And basically, you're going to try and go take the city center, and then I'll have you kind of open the gates. Because I'm trying to lure them back to the city center, basically. So, wargs kind of run on over here. Once you're around here, I can have you go hit the city center. They'll probably want to turn back around. Then I can try and open the gates to get my crossbows over this way. There we go. So, go back here. Because these guys basically just want to like lure you guys back. So there we go. We control the city center. Now you guys are going to want to run back to the city center. So then, that means this is now time for me. I'll stay here for as long as I can. I'm trying to lure you guys back over this way. Then let's run back around over here. So that my infantry and my crossbows can make your way on in this side of the city. So I just need to get you guys away from the walls so the towers aren't active. Same thing with you guys over here. And then this is just like wide open so I can just move on in as whenever I want to with you. I just need to make sure the towers aren't active. So there we go. So wargs. You can just kind of loop back around over this way. There you go. Get the gates open. Then we can have my infantry start rushing on in here, get into melee with these guys. And if we can form some really nice blobs, then my Nazgul can do all of the damage. We take the gates. There we go. Gates are under our control. Now infantry. Yeah, start trying to just run up this way. Crossbows kind of try and run up this way too. So you guys can just start trying to fire into the enemy army. There, there, there. There. There and there. And then I'll bring... As cool, up this way. They're perfectly blobbed right now. So basically, where are they? Skin changers. So I'll give you the command of just focusing on throwing stuff at the skin changers. Infantry and everybody else is moving forward. Here they come. So start trying to fight us a little bit. We're almost in position to start throwing shit. Okay, we can do it now. Open fire! So there's a fourth the enemy army in that one volley. Okay, pull back. Enemy general is now dead. Here we go. Let's see, get you guys over here to help out against these defenders. Keep throwing more grenades at them. Just kind of whittle them down a little bit more. Let's see, some of my crossbows are in melee. Try and pull you guys back out if you can. Wrong area. That's fine now. Because if we can try and get you guys to kind of go over here, we need to start trying to open fire into these guys. There we go. Some of you want to fight me. Oh no, it's it's fine. Infantry. Uh, let's see. So some of these defenders here. Fight them. Go for the. Def this is the entire skin changer unit just dead. Oh, I know, no, it's completely dead. I thought he, like, some of the skin changer units survived, but no, they just completely got destroyed. Beautiful, so it's just the defenders here. So, these guys are broken already. It's literally just this one guy that's not broken because he's in the city center, technically. So once he's dead, they'll have given up. Yeah, see, we took, like, no damage for that. 30, 83 damage. 83 kills. There. There is now another city for us that we can now give over to the Adonai. Now we just need to have it so there's one more to the east. <sighs> one more to the east, we need to take our fish. After the shape of us and everybody takes that, I mean. Because there's two, sorry, there's two over to the east after the one they take. Then there's just one to the west of this territory right now. That actually is a like decent garrison size. So that one we might want to wait until all these guys have been able to regroup together. That way we can have all of these forces push into the same city. Yeah, this territory would give over to the forces of the Adonai again immediately. So, I can just barely get out of the here. Yeah, I can just barely get out of the city. Okay. Well, let's now go give that over to the Adonai. So, give you guys a region. Give you guys this one. 
Except well, that seemed yep. fruitful. Farewell. Okay. Because you guys are slowly but surely getting a pretty good sizable kingdom around here. Uh, and then you guys can technically... Yeah, I can have you guys all just group up together. Help out around over here. Take this. Take this. Then we push on over here. Take this territory. Because that's the last one on this side that the Veil controls. And then we just need to start to... Like, yeah, you guys are spread out. Try and see what they'll do there. These armies... I'm almost ready here. We've got four armies. And I said I want about six to eight armies. And then I think we can go on the offensive and try and take this city. And then that's the one we want to kind of defend ourselves. Actually, I might just take these territories back here. Well, I kind of want you guys to have, like, a united kingdom, so... I should probably take this one myself, and then, like, everything else here goes to the Adonaim still, I think. Still hate that I, uh... <laughs> I no longer have any, uh, boats over here, which is fucking great, so I can't send those guys anywhere. But at least you guys can be a good magnet to kind of lure troops away from them. And I think for the most part right now, it's basically just like, yeah, waiting on you guys to be able to kind of join back up with us. Technically? Oh, no, actually, you know what? We should, uh, we should siege this. There's a lot of General's Bodyguards in this area, right? Yeah, there's six General's Bodyguards in there. So, yeah, we can just auto-resolve through these guys. Make sure we kill more of their family members. And then next turn, I'll have you guys make your way down here to try and help out with the Earlstone. Alrighty, so here we go. We got to lure one of them away. I'm going to try and see... Okay, you guys have just literally 12 in every single army. I'm going to try and pull back. Because I want to see if we can get next to a force. Because that's exactly what we want. So now, that army is now isolated and alone. I can now just swarm it, kill him. And that's one full stack army out of the way. Erebor is sieging us at Gundabad again. I'm actually going to let them try and seize that. This one also try and run away. Okay, this one we're going to have to fight... Um, it's not the worst. Bye bye, Captain. Uh, do I have wargs? I do have wargs in here. Yeah, no, let's let's fight this. Let's let's fight this ourselves, because again, we're gonna have to start killing these armies off anyways with Erebor. So we'll try and fight them though, and I think with Gundabad again, we'll leave it alone for now. Let them try and be on the offensive at Gundabad. Because while they're doing that, I have a far better chance to defend that city because it is a mountain hold. That's my hope. Let's get you guys to group up. Basically, what we need to do here is if we can soak, uh, take out that catapult of theirs, um, then they will have, besides the guys that are unbreakable, uh, they will have a far better chance of breaking. So group you guys up, get the wargs, group up here, John's bodyguard, and then I'll just have you kind of off to the side for right now. So start the battle. And then they'll advance on us. We need to just snipe this catapult. And then they don't have a ton of insane units. They do have quite a few. Uh, but for the most part, I think we'll be okay. You guys have fire will on there. Go for the catapult. Because he's the captain and the most important unit they've got in this army here. Because he can do a lot of damage. Yeah, so start charging in there. I said laborers. You can charge into that laborers too. Because he's going to die from the charge. Because these are pretty crap units. Pull away. Do not fight them for very long with those. Yep, drop your catapults, please. Don't pick them back up. Yep, just pull away from them for right now. Because we're just trying to distract you guys. You're supposed to be going over to my army. I just want to kill this little random unit. Enemy captain is now dead. And now let's make sure that the catapult is inoperable, so they can't actually use it against us. We seem to kill enough of them, but these Sons of the Fallen are right here. So we're going to pull back from there. Let's see. You guys need to specifically make sure you're focusing your ammo onto the really good units, if anything. Because the King's Axes, the Sons of the Fallen... I don't care about the laborers. Do not use your ammo on the laborers. They are absolute ass units. So just ignore them. Let's see. Sons of the Fallen are still alive here. That catapult's still operational. So we still need to hit it at least one more time. They've lost 13% of their army, though, so far. So it's off to a pretty good start. Let's see. Yeah, the laborers are already wavering. That's good for us. Yeah, just bodyguard, try and get over here to help out. Because as soon as we take out this ballista... Which I... Uh, let's try it. It's going to be a risky charge, but we might be able to get them in this charge. So you need to get them to stop using this catapult. Come on. Nah, that's too risky. Let's just let's just go hit other units. 
So we can just wait until that thing sets, sets up to start trying to fire. And I want to start trying to make sure we're running, uh, using some hammer and anvil strikes with these cab units. So ignore those guys. Let's go try and hit this side. This side's got a lot of guys trying to fight us. Number wise, yeah, fourth of the enemy army is dead so far. It's the Sons of the Fallen that I'm most worried about. Yeah, the laborers we're not worried about. So let's try and have you hit here, hit those King Shields, and hit those Dragon Slayers. Because you guys aren't the most amazing units, but you have decent charges. So try and charge over here. This section definitely needs some support. And then, for the most part, I need to try and hit those Blackrock Engineers possibly next if I can with my Cav. Yeah, because you guys can do some really good damage there with charges. You guys are ass for extended combat, but you have decent charges. Okay, let's go hit this uh, guy now again. So, well, one of you run down those laborers. One of you run over this way again. Yeah, some of those guys are running. So let's try and run some of these guys down. And then go for that catapult. So we're taking out 40% of their army so far. So this is off to a pretty good start. So all really depends on how my wargs go about it. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I kind of run those guys down. They came back. So pull away from them. Let's ignore them for right now. Let's go for that catapult. So we can finish that up. Try and get another charge over here. Because yeah, the Dragon Slayers are at 99 guys. They're tough, so I don't know how much this damage actually does to you guys the charge. Oh, no, you actually killed like... Yeah, 40 dudes. 40 dudes with a the charge there with the wargs. You lost like 10 guys in the charge, but... Yeah, you did, you did some good damage. Killing 30 of you guys with just wargs is actually pretty damn good. Okay, the catapult. One more guy and it's inoperable. No, it's actually, uh, I need two more. Because it's two guys per catapult. Okay, get out of there. Okay. You guys now. Let's see. More of these guys are routing. That's what we want. I think we're going to ignore the catapult now. I think it's good enough. Let's now try and hit these engineers. The they've lost half their army so far. They have lost half their men. Basically trying to run down as many of the guys that I know can be broken. And then we'll focus on having to just fight them in melee with the guys that I know are unbreakable. Pull back out of there. Hit those laborers. So those guys might just break. Hit uh, these laborers. There we go. Let's see. So. Axe throwers. Hammer fist. These king's axes do have morale. So let's get over here. Let's hit this side next. Two thirds of their army's dead. Dragon Slayer still have a lot of guys over there. Charge into the Hammerers and the King's Axes. Try and hit these guys. Because that should do some good damage. Maybe break them on this side. Uh, yep, did break some. King Axes broke. So they broke. You guys pull back. Oh, those are Sons of the Fallen. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay. So now, that side's good for the most part. Let's now... Let's try and hit these guys again. Eh, it took a little bit of damage. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Hey, you guys just take a lot of damage on trying to disengage from those charges. Okay, so let's go over here again. Hit these Dragon Slayers and King Shields. This King Shields might break. Let's hit them there. Uh, these guys are routing. Run them down. They've almost the mass lost the Magic 85. Yeah, it's just the Dragon Slayers are going to be the... The Dragon Slayers and Kings of the Fallen, I think. Um, Sons of the Fallen. I believe are all unbreakable. Yeah, Dragon Slayers are almost done over here. The man is kicking shields. It's now this big blob of guys right here. Which I'll get my cab to over that spot next. So I'm kind of back up. Let's go over here. Start trying to charge into these Sons of the Fallen now. Because I think you're the last major bit of resistance. And this, yeah, there's a Dragon Slayer over here too. Yeah, so you guys, yeah, pull back. God, they do so much damage to you if they start fighting you. I think we're going to win this now. It's just, at this point in time, how much more damage we're going to take here. 
Because I can't kill these guys. I can't break these guys. Wargs pull back. Okay, I do have some ammo still. Um, let's try and finish off these hammers first. Then we can use the rest of our ammo onto you guys. Well, I'm now out of ammo. I just have to finish them off in melee. God damn. They're almost dead. Let's see, there's 18 Dragon Slayers, 9 Hammerers. And I saw some Sons of the Fallen in here too. Where'd they go? Did they die? Oh, I think the Sons of the Fallen are dead now. Yeah, so that's just the Dragon Slayers. Yeah, that's it. Dragon Slayers and these Hammerers. Who I notice keep gaining legs every once in a while. It's kind of interesting to notice that animation. Okay. You guys right now? I think that's it. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we can do some pretty good damage to Dwarven armies. Still took a lot ourselves, but now we, we got out of this way better than some other fights. So now, I just hope that they just don't attack another one of my ar this army again. If they do, I'm just going to auto-resolve that. They're dead. They're absolutely dead. But at least right now, we're taking Boozer Cool. I might be able to take Earl Stone next turn. I might have to fight it. But we might be able to take Earl Stone. And at least Arrowy right now, they're kind of spreading out a little bit. I, I'm going to keep having so we do that, hey, one army just kind of spread out and try and get them to take the bait. I'm try and attack the reinforcements. Trying to you guys pull back. Pull back. Yeah, this one's not winning. Let's <laughs> take the auto resolve. That one I'm not winning. Yeah, go for the fort if you want to. That's fine. I'm gonna. I have men gathering together around there, so that's fine. Yeah, baggage train lost. That's okay. Also, how are we doing on money? I'm not losing nearly as much now. Beautiful. Okay, that's good to see. So it's, you can use three more guys, and then this army is ready to go. So, first and foremost, let's make sure to surround this poor bastard and make sure he can't run. Because the more of these armies I can take out, the better. So there, 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 and then one more slot, so we'll have one that's will do it. Somehow he ran, even though he's not supposed to be able to, but okay. Gonna go there and just get more men to surround this guy. There we go. Beautiful. Four casualties. But there, another army dead now. Now, we spread out again. And try and hope they take the bait once more. Because that's that's the plan right now, essentially. Is we're trying to just bait these guys into attacking us. And then I slowly but surely just keep whittling them down as we make our way into and pushing into the forces of Erwi. So you guys can keep trying to do that. This guy, actually. That is... Oh, it's because you're on the... Wait, you pushed him back, Be Oh, that's beautiful. You pushed him back. Somehow. I don't know how you pushed him back when he was on the bridge. But okay. So you guys get there. They're ignoring these areas. Uh, Earlstone has a lot less in it. So you merge men together. I'm going to have you go over here. Yeah, Mount, Mount Grant... I'm going to be fine. Latash, grab all those guys. Oh, actually, that guy not. And you. Grab everybody that's not beat up. And then move forward, basically. So we have reinforcements in this area. Uh, I need one more guy, and then I'll be full stack army too. There we go. So that way we have more over here in case you do want to actually fight that. And then we'll just keep gathering men together around here. So got you, you. Go Latash. You as well. There we go. So you guys have got that. Your CG is going to be kind of bad. That's fine. I'm going to then just take these guys and go down south. We should be able to take Earlstone, I think, this turn. And then I am going to switch who's where. So I'll have you be the one that stays in Boozer Cool. That way I get to... Actually, you two should stay here together because, actually, you are kind of isolated and alone right now. You're kind of in a stuff spot. So I'll actually have you stay there. You stay there. And then... Let's see. Yeah, it's a lot less. I think we can take this auto-resolve. It's only this one extra army. 
I don't fucking trust the auto resolve. <laughs> I worry it's just gonna kill everybody because these guys have high command. Now nah, let's, let's fight this ourselves. I just worry about them. Like, yeah, I just wipe out half my army for this. And like, yeah, please no, please no. Okay, so let's let's fight this ourselves. Push on in here. Take these guys out, and then they'll just have the other random armies outside. So if we can minimize casualties. We can try and single out some of these other armies that they have around here. Because the Veil is doing... We're doing some good damage against the Veil. Let's see, some artillery pieces. Group you guys up. Kind of back up a little bit. Skirmishers, back up a little bit. Infantry. And then cavalry. Yep, start the battle. Oh, I thought you guys were far enough away. Back up, please. Off to a great fucking start. I thought it was far enough away to not be shot at by the ballista towers. I was sorely mistaken. Okay, now you are. So now I'll have it so yeah, you guys uh, take out the gates, take out the towers, and now we can start pushing my forces this way. And of course, Shavos is the one that's attacked. Uh, you guys all try and help out around here, please. Try and help him out. I'm focusing on trying to push on into the city, so you guys are trying to take out the towers. They are pulling back, though, and I think I can start putting my infantry up this way. Also, due to the fact that I'm... Yeah, I had it so these guys are commanded by me, so... I actually want to use my units up, so... Try and take out the towers so we take less damage, but I will be trying to start throwing my guys forward here. To try and have it so that we can see if we can capture the city center and not have to uh, minimize casualties. Thank god, that's the enemy general's dead, not ours. I was worried, like, shit, you guys are attacking Shavos, did you take him out? Thankfully not. Okay. Infantry, though. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be starting to rush forward. Same with my uh, cav here right now. You guys are trying to run on in around the backside. Because if we can get you guys to start taking the city center... They've already lost like 10% of their army, so this is actually off to a good start. So, like, yeah, Leofric. Leofric right now. He's lost like 300 guys right now at, the point, at this point. Trying to get you guys to, I don't know, fucking help him... No, you guys are just idiots. You're just gonna watch him die. God damn it. Yeah, Leofric might die and I might have to have it so that we uh, get him another army and bring him back up later. Alrighty, uh, Leofric, are you dead? Please tell me you're not dead. Somehow he's not dead yet. I don't know how. He's somehow still running around somewhere. So far, we've taken out about a fourth of the enemy army. We've lost about a fourth of our army so far as well. I'm keeping my crossbows over here, though, and uh, at the moment, you are currently letting me just fire straight into you. So, I will gladly take it. So, if you're just going to let me freely shoot skin changers for free, I'm going to. So, keep selecting one of these guys at a time. So, slowly but surely, I'm going to be killing them around here. And my infantry is almost into, into uh, the city center. I'm actually going to wait, though. Because if they're going to just let me freely shoot them, I'm going to do that. Because that would be far better to just kill all these guys in range. And I'm having so that the Witch King, he's here. Basically in case... Oh, now nah, 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 they're making their way over here. That's what I was worried about. That's why you're on the side. So, you guys, hold position. They keep firing. And then I'll have the uh, Witch King start throwing shit. So that he can start trying to hit these guys. So yeah, start trying to shoot point blank range into the guys that are fighting you. And then my allies are here, actually. Yeah, there's uh, some of my allies there. So you guys are making your end in here. Now there's just so many of these guys we need to kill. So, infantry, if the game will stop lagging. Start trying to push on in this way. And then we have it. So yeah, the Witch King, you're helping on this side. Try and throw over these guys if you can, possibly. We didn't kill any of them, sadly. My allies are bringing their forces over here, though, to try and help us out in this position. I hate that the AI, the auto resolve, actually might have gotten us a similar amount of kills as to what we're going about to have happen here, because of where Leia spawned. I'm starting to take out some more generals, though. There we go. Killed at least two of them so far. Just ten more to fucking go. Actually, no, not not ten. <laughs> There's twelve more in the other army too. Um. Yeah, keep throwing stuff over around here. My infantry is starting to make their run in. Again, I'm not opposed... Yeah, again, since those guys are controlled by me, I'm not opposed to throwing these guys' lives away so we can get more men onto the map here. Because it's really close number-wise. 
like really close number wise. You can keep just th throw keep throwing stuff at these guys, and if I can, j I I know for the most part, yeah, we should have enough men that will be able to win this fight. It's just the fact that I don't want to lose too many guys for this, which we kind of are right now. I'm taking out another two of them. I don't like that uh, the Witch King right now is in melee. I am just going to hope that we get a good amount of recovery after this. Trying to get all these reinforcing units now to help out over here. Some of them ran over towards my artillery pieces, so that's like where the reinforcements are going for right now. Uh, I'm going to have to actually pull the Witch King out of here. I don't want him dying on me. Number-wise, 43 to 52. With my allies getting over here, though, it is doing a bit better. We just need to push through this blob and then be in the safe center. Just look at every single fucking star as a Jones bodyguard. God, these guys have way too many skin changers in their armies. There's another four goddamn generals. <laughs> so many of these fuckers. It would be, like, honestly, I almost feel like I need to do this myself at some point. But then again, I'm lazy and I don't know if I'll actually ever go through with it. But going through this campaign, just to see how many generals bodyguards I kill specifically of the Veil... Like, my god, they have so many skin changes. Like, number-wise, about 78% of their forces. Again, I still don't know how the hell Leo Frick is still alive. He might be dead, but it just hasn't told me he's dead. Pretty much his entire army's ran off the map. I'm, I'm pretty certain he's dead. He's, he's gotta be. At this point in time, 87% of their forces are dead. My infantry, trying to have it so that you guys are trying to push on in on this side. A lot of the new reinforcements are pushing on the other side. Try and just make my way through all these damn skin changers. Because, let's see, so there's another general's bodyguard, another general's bodyguard. <laughs> I'm just trying to lose track. Is people, people flying the fucking sky? Yeah, no, some of them are. Yeah, okay. I wasn't, I was not seeing things there. There's just so much. Yeah, Leo Freak's completely off the map now. It's literally just me now, my allies. We've lost 60% of our armies overall. I am going to hope that we recover a good amount. Otherwise, Ow, that's painful. Okay, they are almost all dead. <laughs> so fucking many of these bastards. Look at this, dead, 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 dead. There's even more. Only half our force remains. I better recover a good chunk of my army from this. So I've got so all my infantry is trying to finish off these guys. You guys are trying to finish off this one skin changer that's outside and about. He's the only one outside. And then I probably should start getting the Witch King up here help out to make sure these guys die quickly enough. Because they're almost all dead. Almost. It's just right now, we're getting a little close to the edge of the battle and I want to make sure we have enough time. Just, oh god, 70% of my men... I should recover a good chunk from um, from the end of the battle. Yeah, more of them are dying. Crossbows, you almost done with these guys? Yeah, they're almost dead over there. There's just two more guys out there, because we're going to have to make sure we kill everybody. Because we do not have enough time to capture the city at this point in time. Just, what is the balance of the Veil here? Like, the fact they can just make so many armies like this is kind of disgusting. Or so many Jones bodyguards like this is kind of disgusting. I know that it is recruitable. Everybody has, like, recruitable Jones bodyguards. But my god, I think their thing needs to be slowed down a little bit. So I have two minutes to kill the uh, rest of these guys before we possibly lose. I have uh, the Witch King up here as well. I'm trying to push on in, because there's not many of you guys left. How about with the uh, skin changers? Can everybody get in up here? Okay, it's just that one final goddamn skin changer. God, we, we won the city. No, I should shut up. He's still not dead yet. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so fucking painful! Ah, I was talking about half my armor being lost. But, we did kill everything. God. That's so many men lost. Remaining soldiers, it's so few. Larifrick, I feel, is dead. But hey, we got Earlstone! <laughs> like... 
I was not signing, I did not realize I was signing up to fight off, like, literally, like, furry conventions when fighting against the Veil. That's not what I was expecting. There's just so many skin changers. That's all they have, and that's a hit. But hey, Earlstone is now mine. They have one less city. Because that's the thing, they just have so many armies all over the place. If I can get to the cities, it doesn't matter. So yeah, we uh, capture all those guys, execute them all. And then... Noble Death, Noble Death, Noble Death. I'm guessing Leofric is among them. Yep, Leofric is uh, dead. He'll have to come back. At least this is an area I'm controlling myself, and I'm not giving up. So, uh, get some uh, growth build policy there, please. Please. Get some spies around here. Oh god, let's uh, merge our men together. Because that was painful. Oh, so painful. Oh, so many men for that. Uh, just bring like these guys. Trying to merge what we can together. Given that fight. I uh, can go there. Give me uh, four more guys. Okay, because that's a little better. I have like no movement. And they still have all these armies out here too. Fuck. Like, that is a huge chunk of my army is now. All my army is just gone. Shit. Oh, Fransburg. Son of Just God damn it. At least I've got a lot of troops around down here. Because again, I've already, I've already moved to you guys. It's just basically waiting to see what's going on with that. I am trying to recruit more men up around here to send over to you guys as well. So we still have that. Gun to battle waiting for them to attack that. Basically next turn I have to merge you guys together. I want to bring you guys down this way to help out. Because the Vale is almost dead. They've only got a couple more cities. Like literally... Oh wait, I can hit this one this turn. What the fuck am I talking about? So I can hit this territory. Oh, oh that's Bjorn and fucking self. Actually. Wait. <laughs> I just realized I might regicide them right now. Um... Straight up, because if none of these are on the family tree and they're just recruited generals, if I kill Bjorn, the only person on their family tree, that could regicide them right now. Oh, please, please, please have that be the case. I am fighting this myself because I'm not going to risk this. You just a bunch of crap, and then you. If he is the only one on the family tree, all of them, will die. all of them will turn rebel. It's so unlikely, oh so unlikely, but technically it's possible, because the recruited generals do not default onto the family tree. Like that's what was going on with the dwarves of uh, Ikazadum. We were trying to take out their stuff. It does not guarantee that they are on the family tree. So, maybe I will get extremely lucky and Bjorn is the only one on the family tree right now. I highly doubt that's the case, but I'm hopeful because if that's, that was the case, I would be so fucking happy right now. Just gotta break down these gates first, break down the gates, get on inside, and then we just need to, there's just a bunch of basic defenders. So you guys just all rush on up here. He's running to the city center for the most part right now. I'll try and have you take out the tower or something while waiting for them. Because they're just all going back to the city center. Infantry just start charging forward. Yeah, like, see this one defender unit. Just go kill him off. Oh, he's going up the, under the walls. I don't care about that. We care about going towards the city center. And a bodyguard of 66 skin changers is so fucking disgusting. But yeah, just try and focus on him. I've got the uh, I've got the trolls at least. 
So if you guys all focus on him, that'd be great. Yeah, these guys are not doing that well. Just focus on him. Also, try and stun him, possibly. Yeah, trolls could do some good damage to the skin changers, though. So there you go. Just keep, keep, keep on him. Did you just get a... Yep, the, one of my catapults just fucking hit here. Yep, just took out some of my own trolls with that. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. We have finally killed him. Now the question is just going to be... Is he the only one on the family tree? I'm hoping so much that he is. Um, let's bring Shavos up here. I'm going to try and have him go around yeah, around the side here. Try and get him in so we can just start shooting those guys. Because if Bjorn is the only one on the family tree, that means the Veil is just dead. And that's going to make this war with them so much easier. Because like we're starting to get to the point like... I, I've lost a lot of guys from my initial uh, force that I had gathered around Gundabad. And I know the whole point of this is, like, we need to be able to just, like, we're just going to keep trying to recruit more and more and more. Um, but still, it takes a lot of men to just keep pushing up like this. And so we, I will have to just keep continuously keep recruiting. And it takes time, to, like, the lands I take to be able to actually kind of be able to recruit again. And this is partially the reason why I've been trying to have this. So, like, I want to focus on lands. Like, I don't control everything. Because then it's like, oh, well, if I want to effectively keep pushing forward, I need to make sure I need to wait the time to be able to build up so I can recruit from those areas again. But if I'm already knowing, oh, I'm not building, I'm not going to build around these areas, I'm not going to control these areas, then I can be like, okay, I know I'm recruiting from here. Let's just focus all my troops into this one funnel. Basically. Alrighty. Now, please, game. Please have Bjorn be the only one in the family tree. I'd be so happy if he is. Because we'll see if he's going to be. Because once we take the city, that will be that will determine whether or not their faction dies because of it. I highly doubt it. I don't know who, other, who else they have in their family tree. Uh, if the other family members have died or Bjorn's the only initial one that they start with. Um, I'm not sure about that. Now, moment of truth. It's so unlikely, but if this is the case. Because the yeah, Anduin's leader's dead. We've destroyed the enemy! Keep the suspense. <laughs> Damn it. I was hopeful. I was really hopeful that he was going to be the only one they had, but they don't. Okay. Well, that means then uh, we will continue doing as we have been to keep the pushing on into these guys. Up. Need to get to this city okay. next. The so this will be the next city we're going to go Get's for. That will be the last one we take from over here. You, and you guys, yeah, all keep gathering together so you're all working on the same thing. There, there, and then there. And I'll at least give this city over to them, but then I'll probably be done for today, seeing as how we have had a lot of bloodshed. I to just take the small cities we have. Literally, Earlstone. Uh, there's, so, there's only a couple more cities. That's it. There's literally five regions. I need to take from the forces of the Vale. And that's it. So I could ignore these armies if I could just take Framsburg, um, Fenholm, Arrowy, and then like this these two territories over here as well. Because like I know that you guys, hey, we'll do the end turn next, uh, and then basically see like where those guys go. But let's let's do like one more end turn and then I will be done for today. I wanna see uh, at least where we leave off. Okay, just some sieges. Um, I think, though, this will probably be a good place to be done for now. Because, yeah, Boozer Cool is sieged. I think we'll be fine there. And then just more buildings. So, I'll be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. That's what I have in general. But this is Rampaign. I'll see you guys next time.